Hello everyone. Let's learn an application of binomial theorem in number theory. Now if you are not familiar with binomial theorem, let me quickly remind you that a plus b to the power n is a is usually known as a binomial term because a and b there are two of them so hence binomial raised to the power n this can be expanded as n choose 0 a to the power n b to the power 0 n choose 1 a to the power n minus 1 b to the power 1 and so on up to n choose n a to the power 0 b to the power n okay so using this i theorem we will be solving a problem from isi entrance this is from the book test of mathematics and i'll tell you what the problem says the problem says that there is an expression 2 to the power 2n minus 3n minus 1 we want to show that 9 divides 2 to the power 2n minus 3n minus 1. Now you can give this a try. Whenever n is a positive integer, you can try to show that this quantity 9 divides this expression 2 to the power 2n minus 3n minus 1. n is greater than or equal to 1. You should try this problem on your own by pausing the video and then you can come back for a hint. So here is the hint and we will also go to solution of course from there. So the hint is you take this expression 2 to the power 2n minus 3n minus 1 and first step you write it down as to 2 square raised to the power n minus 3n minus 1 which is 4 to the power n minus 3n minus 1 and you write this number 4 as 3 plus 1 raised to the power n okay can you from this particular step finish the problem you can pause the video and give it a try and then come back to the video and check your if your solution is correct or not Okay, let's go to the solution. So we want to show that 3 plus 1 raised to the power n minus 3n minus 1 is divisible by 9. This is our goal. So how do we show it? Well, we binomially expand this particular term. We say, okay, that this is n choose 0, 3 to the power n, of course 1 to the power, you can write 1 to the power 0, 1 to the power 1, but it really doesn't matter 1 square etc. because all of them will be 1, so I'll not write them, plus n choose 1, 3 to the power n minus 1, I'll go ahead and write it up to n choose n minus 2, 3 square, n choose n minus 1, 3 raised to 1, n choose n times 1 minus 3n minus 1. Okay, notice that all of these terms, up to all of these terms are divisible by 9. Why? Because they are they they contain at least two threes. It's 3 square, 3 cube, or more than that what about this portion okay so this particular quantity is 3n this is simply 1 and from that you subtract 3n and you subtract 1 so this is 0 this portion is 0 so you don't have to worry about that portion you just have to worry about this portion which is divisible by 9 because it starts from 3 square and goes even larger to even larger powers of 3 Okay, but this is this is true only if n is more than 2 
because of course you want n minus 2 to be something positive. So maybe what you can do is you can check for n equals to 1 and n equals to 2 if this particular expression 2 to the power 2n minus 3n minus 1 is divisible by 2 or not, by 9 or not. So can you check that and put a comment in the description if this result is true for n equals to 1 and n equals to 2 and then you can get the final answer for the rest of the numbers by using this binomial theorem okay so very nice application from isi entrance of binomial theorem in number theory i'll see you in the next video keep on doing great mathematics